Hey, it's Jennifer Nicole here. I am going to be showing you a product that I recently bought and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm just going to be giving you my opinion if it is worth the hype that it's received on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get started. So the packaging itself, you get this on the box. It's this nice like pinkish purplish shade, really feminine and pretty. And then it just kind of shows you a brief overview of the shadows that you get. But let's just get into the fun part. I mean, not very many people care about the box because most of us just end up throwing it away. This is the Modern Renaissance palette itself. It's like a nice velvety case. Um, it has a mirror that folds back. And then these are the shadows. And you have three here that I was kind of worried about that I thought would just be super sim similar. And I would say that two of them are similar. The other one's not. But we'll get into the swatches in a minute. Um, and then it comes with this nice brush. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with the brush itself, which is not really what we're here for. But it's nice. So you have some matte shades. And then you really only have two shimmer shades. You have some satin shades in there, but you only have these two shimmer shades. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you some swatches. And we're just going to start with the top row. And then we'll go to the next row, starting from left to right. Okay, so starting at the top, we have Tempra, then we have Golden Ochre, then we have Vermeer, which is kind of just sinking into my skin because it's the same type of color. Then we have Baron Fesco. I'm probably going to say most of these names wrong, so just bear with me. And then we have, um, right here, we have Antique Bronze. We have Love Letters, this pinkish shade. This deep brown is Cypress Umber. And then we have Raw Sienna, Burnt Orange, and then Primavera is the only one, I don't know if you can even see it if it's showing up, but Primavera is the only one that you definitely have to build up. It does build nicely, but it is the least pigmented of everything. And then we have Red Okra, and then um, Valentine Red, and Warm Taupe, and Real Guard. Real Guard is this really nice burnt orange. So the only two shades that I think are very similar are these two. And they're still, I mean, they're still pretty different. Those two I just feel like are a little too close and I would have, think I would have liked something else. But everything else I'm so pleased with. I think this palette is just, it's inc insanely pigmented. Um, you just need the tiniest bit. It does kick up a lot of powder. Like, I just let me find one. So if I just barely tap into that, if you look at that, I mean, you can see there's a ton of powder kick up just from that tiny, tiny dab. So if you don't like that, you're going to find that a lot in the palette. And that's kind of, that can be frustrating, but to me, it just means it's really buttery, creamy, and pigmented. And so I don't mind that. I just barely tap in and I get like a full, I don't, I don't need to tap my brush in back in usually. I mean, it just gets a full amount of pigment that's so blendable. To find a pigment that's so blendable, so creamy, buttery, I'm just, I'm really happy with it. As far as like comparison with the Urban Decay, I honestly think this quality and pigmentation is just way better, which coming from me is crazy because I absolutely love the Urban Decay. So I think that this product is completely worth the hype. But I will say, if you're not going to use these orange shades, these red shades, these pink shades, I don't think you it'll be worth it. I mean, it's a $42 palette, and I just, those are the shades that I personally was drawn to and that I love about this palette. But if those are shades that kind of scare you and you want more of a neutral palette, I wouldn't go with that. I would go with, like, the Naked, the Naked Original palette, um, maybe the Tartlet palette, something that has just more neutral shades. But if you're you know, if you're drawn to that burgundy warm shades, this is beautiful. I mean, it blends seamlessly. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So personally, I think it is well worth the hype on YouTube. Um, so anyways, I love this palette. I think it's a beautiful, wonderful go-to palette. It does have some neutral shades, so if you wanted to do more of a neutral look, you can. If you want to do something more warm and a little bit more dramatic, um, a little more romantic, whatever you're kind of going for, you can do that as well. So it doesn't have a, a black, but it does have this really deep brown shade. Personally, with the shade selection, I prefer that brown than the black, and I just like to pair it with a black eyeliner and a black mascara, and I feel like you get enough of that 
depth that you need in the eyeshadow. I think it's worth I just think it's worth the money. I think it's something that will last you a very long time because it is so pigmented. So thank you so much for watching and this is just my review of the Modern Renaissance. I think it is definitely worth the hype and I hope you have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next time.